The following segment is sponsored by Creative Society. Whether you're interested in understanding the systems that heat and cool your home, or you just want to know that everything is taken care of, our friends at American Veteran Air Conditioning have it covered. Sean McGraw is with us this morning. Hi, Sean. Hey, how you doing, Margaret? Good, good to see you. Uh, tell us what's new at American Veteran these days. I know you're busy and you're keeping up with demand during these strange times, right? It's definitely been a lot of demand. Um, but that's to be expected once we finally spike the temperatures like we have. Uh, we prepared as much as possible for the uh, perfect storm coming in with everybody kind of being out. Uh, manufacturers shutting down or being slow on their uh, demand on uh, AC systems and everything coming out. So we did make a large investment investing in the majority of our AC systems that we normally use. We, we pride ourselves in being able to get out there as quick as possible within a day or two. So I, I don't have the luxury of waiting you know, five, ten days just because manufacturers are on a shortage. Well, good. Now, during these hot summer days, efficiency is everything. What are a few easy ways we can increase the efficiency and the life of our home's cooling systems? Making sure that the windows that are getting a lot of eastern or western facing sun are, are covered up, you know, get your shades shut or heavy blinds over there is always a good idea. Uh, beyond that, maintaining the temperature that you want it in your house is always a good idea as well. Not trying to set it back too far and expecting it to do work a miracle as soon as you come home at five o'clock. It's going to struggle to just maintain temperature right now. So generally at this time of the year, I almost recommend if you want it 75 in your house, keep it at 75. Absolutely. No swinging back and forth. Um, we've got some frequently asked questions to tackle. First, how long should a home system run during each cycle? Yeah, you know, that's really kind of a loaded question because uh, it depends on the home and it depends on the time of year. Just because your AC system is running longer in the, in the summertime in these hot times does not mean that it's less efficient. To be honest with you, I would rather have an AC system in my house running all day long than having it cutting on and off every 10, 15 minutes. That spike of power that you get every time that AC system cuts on is a huge consumption of energy. The, the, the unit running is actually doing you good. It's removing moisture from your home, it's keeping it comfortable, and it's steadily keeping that house at the, plate, at the, at the temperature that, in the climate that you want it at. What air temperature should my air conditioner produce? Depending on the, the, the efficiency of the system and everything else, all systems are different, but on the low end, a 15 degree split from what the return is to what the supply is coming out. If it's a newer system, I would be looking more between 18 and 22 degree split, somewhere in there. So that's uh, whatever the room temperature is inside your home, what the return is taken in, and a direct temperature reading off the supply vent, whether it's in the floor or the ceiling. And that'll give you kind of a decent idea of, okay, is the AC working or is, um, is it just hot outside and it's going to be struggling for a little bit? And this may just depend on somebody's own comfort, but in these hot summer months, what temperature should I set my therm thermostat? So for, for an AC system installed, we do a load calculation on the house. On that load calculation, those are set for design parameters. Those design parameters are 98% of what we believe our average high temperature is going to be through the summertime. So that system is set to be efficient 98% of the year. Uh, in 2% of the year, it's not going to be that efficient. When it's 95, 100 degrees outside, it's not going to be that efficient. But if we made it efficient for that 2% bit of the year, it would be not very efficient for 98% of the year. So with that said, uh, Spartanburg Greenville area, the design parameters for that is, I believe it's either 91 or 92 degrees. And that's what we set it at um, when we do a load calculation and we set the indoor air temperature to be at 75 degrees. So for all the air coming into the house, we expect that it is able to remove the heat from that home and maintain that temperature. Obviously when it's 90, 99, 100 degrees outside or even you know, beyond 91, it's gonna, it's gonna have a hard time struggling, which is why I recommend during the hot seasons of the year, if you want it to be 75 or 74 in your house when you get home, you're probably going to need to set that temperature, that, that set point throughout the day. Absolutely. And you can certainly work with people on an individual basis because you're all about finding out what they need. And if a programmable thermostat is something that, that appeals to them, you're the guy to explain it all. Um, people can contact you, American Veteran. The office is 435-0822 or visit the website, 
AmericanVeteranAC.com. Anything else you think people should be keeping in mind these days? Maintenance is key on everything. So that the condenser coil outside is designed to get rid of the heat that's inside your home. It's moving the heat from the inside of your home and taking it outside and trying to get rid of it. So if that coil is dirty and clogged up, it's gonna have a lot harder time getting rid of it. So a clogged coil at 90 degrees is gonna act more like a clean coil at 110, 120 degrees. It's gonna run a lot harder. So keeping that system clean is the key point to really just keeping your house cool in these, in these times of the year. All right, Sean McGraw from American Veteran Air Conditioning. Thanks for all you do and for making it make sense. We look forward to talking to you again soon. I hope I made it make sense. You take care. <laughs>